Hey folks, here we are. David Duck. I was really excited about this cartoon strip and just had to go ahead and uh, give you a hint of what I'm going to be doing with it. Um, so watch along as I tell you a little bit about the sermon today and what it did to me. And here we go. So today's sermon was just outstanding. Um, it's hard to pick one that's better than the others, but today's was so good that normally within about the first five or ten minutes, I've gotten some idea of what I want to do. Instead, today I'm just scribbling down notes and I'm getting all these different things, and I had no idea of what I was going to do. Um, but I had kind of a trying week for myself um, where I had questions about some of the choices I've made, uh, especially because I had been challenged not by opposition, but by opportunity. And holy cow, that's that's exactly what Stephen talked about today. Um, you know, I don't know him. I've never even talked to him, so maybe I should call him Mr. Furtick, but I don't feel like I pronounced his last name right, so I just call him Stephen. Anyway, when when you walk in and you, the pastor preaches exactly what you need to hear, it just it makes you feel better about your decisions that you've made. Um, furthermore, he went on into a talking to young people about, you know, how to deal with, you know, your your first dates with somebody, and it made me think, and I looked over at my wife and smiled because we've been married like 20 years, and she did exactly what he was telling the people to do. Uh, she wouldn't even get in the car with me until she went down a whole list of, do you drink, do you smoke, do you, you know, have you ever done this, that? It, she made sure I was a good person, and uh, it was just kind of funny or cute to me to hear him talk about this. Um... Also, not serving for position, but serving for purpose was so powerful to me today. Because um, I feel like that is what I do by doing these cartoon strips. Um, I feel like I have a talent. I, I can't sing. I've tried to. I've actually I've been laughed at at church because my voice is that bad. Also, when I wanted to do this, like I said, normally I have an idea of what I want to do. But in today's sermon, he talked about, you know, a guy doing number two, and there was no way I could cartoon that and make it tasteful. So uh, I chickened out, but at the end of it, he started to make this connection to not this way, not playing a game a certain way. I'm not going to tell you what it is, because as you can see, David Duck kind of looks like a character from a game, and here's the first test result of me animating a little bit. So keep an eye out this week for some animation. Thanks, and I will talk to you all later.